hello guys and welcome back to our channel today we're making ghana jollof and it's a chicken jollof rice yes so let's get started so you first of all need your vegetables mm, your pepper your onion your garlic your local spices and of course we're using some fresh tomatoes and the spices we will need so let's get started with our chicken we we'll go ahead and cook our chicken. We're spicing it up with some onga stew, maggi, and some salt to taste. Yes. You let it cook in its own juices for some few minutes. Then you add a bit of the pepper mixture to it. And you stir and you cover it up for it to cook for some time yes see how juicy it's looking it tastes very nice too so you go ahead and fry it in your oil your vegetable oil or any type of oil you fry it till it's golden brown just like in the video We start off with making our stew. Of course, you need a base for it. And of course, you need tomato paste. Forgot to add it to our ingredients back there, yes. So you fry your onions for some time. Then you add your pepper mixture to it. Then you fry your pepper mixture for some few minutes. Then you add your spices. So we're using curry maggi onga stew we're using our nutmeg some salt to taste but you can choose any spices you have at home it's all a matter of preference so hey then we go ahead and add up our chicken stock the stock from the cooked chicken to our stew we make sure that it fries very well for all the water in the pepper to drain. Then you go ahead and add your tomato paste. You fry it for about five to 10 minutes on low to medium heat. Make sure that you continue to stir so that it doesn't get bent. It's very important because we don't want any bitter tasting stew. So, yeah. So, guys, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, comment, like, and let us know what you think or if you'll be trying this recipe. So, we blended our fresh tomatoes. And we added it to our pepper mixture our sauce yes the fresh tomatoes always gives it a sweet taste so maybe you can add that if that's what you want but you can also do it with the tea tomatoes that's also nice so we just added a bit of fish because Charlie <laughs> and <laughs> and it actually makes the stew very nice so yeah and we added some smoked salmon to it too they continue to stir so that it doesn't get burnt so with the stew made, we go ahead and start up our jollof rice. Our stew is ready and looking very nice and tastes good too. So you go ahead and wash up your rice. Since the stew is a lot, we'll not be using all of it because we're cooking just a bit of the rice, about three cups of the rice. So you need to put some stew down and we're cooking jollof there are some certain rules that you need to follow else jollof will disgrace you my friends <laughs> yes trust me 
so we've divided the stew of course you you have to make sure that you know the number of cups you are cooking the rice then you measure it to the stew because if the stew is a whole lot it will make it a bit soggy and watery and of course you have to know the type of rice you are using the type of rice you use will let you know the amount of water you use so we go ahead and add a bit of the spices to the curry the nutmeg maggi our salt to taste and a bit of onga stew just to give it a bit of flavor here and there it's very important so you add your rice to the stew and make sure that you stir it for some time you fry it actually because you want it to make kind of say it be you want one yes so that's the reason why we doing it that way we find it before adding the water and make sure that you measure your water very well because hey your love can really really disgrace you when we have visitors <laughs> yes so that's some of the rules when cooking jollof because you need to be very very careful with jollof it doesn't like to show off <laughs> but if you follow our recipe hey you're good to go so you add a bit of water as i said know the type of rice you're using Then you stir and make sure that everything mixes well and it tastes very nice. Always remember to taste. And if you have to add a bit of salt, you add the salt to make sure that it is very well incorporated. So here I realized that our pan was too small for our rice. So we had to change it to a bigger size. Yes. But one thing about jollof too is when the stew is not a lot for the rice, it comes out looking very white. And that's not what we want. So we covered it up for some few minutes for the rice to properly cook very well. And we set our heat to low to medium heat for the rice to sit and cook very well because we wouldn't want it to um, not cook well so a bit of them we will be half cooked some cooked here some cooked not cooked there so that's why we cover it up for the heat to cook through yes and jollof needs a lot of patience if you don't have patience hey don't even try to cook jollof because you need to give it a whole lot of attention it's an attention seeking food yes that's why there's always the jollof war between ghana and nigeria <laughs> it's an attention seeking food so hey you need to be very careful it doesn't really need much heat low heat so every single grain of rice is cooked and here we added a bit of our onions to give it a bit of flavor and taste it takes it the smell to another level so maybe you can decide to add that to your meal the next time you're doing that and there you have it our jollof rice looking all nice and delicious we paired it with some salad and of course our chicken because we're making what jollof chicken rice let me put it very well ghana jollof chicken rice yes ghana jollof chicken rice yes <laughs> so yeah guys this is it you can follow the steps and you can have your jollof ready in no time hope you enjoyed our recipe
Thank you for staying with us. Till next time. Bye.